Hello everyone, my name is Adam Maripos Vox and welcome to my review of the Steel Series Sensei Wireless Gaming Mouse. This is the wireless adaptation of their original award winning Sensei Gaming Mouse and it is a great little mouse. They've actually made some improvements off the original Sensei as well. As far as specs goes, it is of course a wireless mouse. It has a 1 millisecond pulling rate, has 150 inches per second tracking speed, it has 8200 max counts per inch, that's the sensitivity detection that it has, has 16.8 million colors on three different areas that you can change the LED lighting of the mouse and the base. It has 30 million durable click switches and cloud-based storage for their profiles for the software for customizing the mouse buttons and the sensitivity. As far as build quality goes, it is made of a rugged, durable plastic, as are most gaming mice these days. It does have a metal accent surrounding the scroll wheel, which is pretty nice. You do have the 30 million quick switches on the clickers and the mouse buttons, and then you have this soft rubberized texture on pretty much everywhere that you're actually going to be gripping the mouse. That makes it really, really comfortable. And that's actually something about this and the regular Sensei that made it such a big deal was how comfortable it is. It has a very nice ergonomic shape to it, and it has pretty much no rough edges that are going to rub you the wrong way during long extended use. And the cool thing about the shape of it is that it's actually pretty much completely ambidextrous. It doesn't matter which way, which hand you're holding it with, you're getting the exact same feel, and it's equally as comfortable both hands. The base itself is heavy and durable. It's mostly made of metal to make sure that it's durable and weighted down on your desk, which is really, really cool. On the bottom of it, it has a non-slick rubber pad to make sure it doesn't slide across your desk. It stays in one place even when you push the mouse on it really, really hard. And the prongs that attach to the mouse to actually charge it are pretty durable themselves. The base also has, by default, a battery indicator LED surrounding the shape of the mouse that is either green, yellow, or red, depending on the battery status of the mouse, which is really convenient and really useful. The USB cable is a nice sort of braided cable that feels pretty durable, pretty flexible, um, but it's micro USB, which I'm not a huge fan of, but that's what's becoming the standard nowadays. Goes into the base pretty easily. It, it has two hinges it slides into and stays in the base pretty well. And then you can actually, if you need to charge it while you're using the mouse, you can actually plug it directly into the mouse, which seems like a really convenient feature. However, it's pretty much a huge giant pain in the ass to actually get it out of the mouse, especially when it's on and you don't want to click a couple things. Now of course you can just flip the switch and turn the mouse off to unplug it, um, but it has, on the bottom it has a little locking mechanism to lock the cord into the mouse, that way it doesn't come unplugged while you're using it, which makes perfect sense, That that's a great idea. Except it's so up under the actual surface of the bottom of the mouse, it becomes a huge, huge pain in the ass to actually properly grip the mouse undo the switch and then pull the cable it, it for whatever reason i just can never do it anytime i do it so i basically avoid at all costs plugging the cable into the mouse the scroll wheel has a nice rubberized surface on it as well which is very comfortable and easy to grip however the scroll wheel feels pretty light and flimsy that being said it it's completely responsive it works very well and i haven't had any issues with the scroll wheel like I have other mice, it's actually been really easy to use. The back and forward mouse buttons are actually in the perfect position in my opinion and they're really comfortable to hit no matter if you're using your right or left hand. As far as the wireless aspects go of it, the signal strength is great just as I expected after reviewing their H wireless headset. Pretty much anywhere in my setup room where I could still see the computer monitor, the mouse would reach from wall to wall, wall to wall. I could use the mouse in the farthest corner of my room and it would still work fine on the computer with no, you know, no signal loss. It doesn't appear to lose track of where I'm going or what I'm clicking. Granted, it's a little hard to tell because I can't entirely see the monitor as easily, but as far as I can tell, it works great. Especially with the one millisecond pulling rate, the signal is super fast and responsive. I've never experienced any issues with interference or it just doing its own thing as is often the case with wireless devices such as mice. Not once had any problems with it. Battery life goes, this makes the mice the mouse my favorite mouse that I have used thus far simply because it's a wireless mouse I don't have to change the batteries and it survived my 36 hour live stream weekend that I had this past weekend yeah I did a charity stream called summer showdown 3 with a good friend of mine Lagundo from legend zero nation we were raising money for extra life and it was just a 36 hour non-stop live stream over a weekend so I started Saturday at 10.30 ish a.m. It did Sunday around 10.30 ish p.m. I used the mouse for pretty much the entire duration of that stream without stopping, playing PC games, using it to manage the stream, 
I did some video editing during that time, never once put the mouse on the charger or plugged it in, and only at the end did it start going into the yellow and red lights to tell me that the battery was starting to die. The mouse lasted the entire weekend without me having to charge it, and that is absolutely amazing. So whatever gaming session you're going to be throwing at it, competitive gaming, you know, casual gaming, whatever, it's probably going to last you without you having to charge it too often. Now, if you do forget to put it on the base when you're done with it, it will of course drain the battery over the course of a couple days, and then if you go to go to use it and it's already sitting on your mouse bed, and not the base, you can probably rest assured that after a couple days, it's not going to hold a charge until you plug it, you know, set it back on the base and let it charge. However, with how convenient it is to literally just set the mouse on the base, pretty hard to forget. Like I said, the base is really convenient for using it to charge the mouse, and it also has that LED indicator to let you know what state of battery status your mouse is in. And it's also really convenient that you can plug the mouse in directly to charge it and use it if you need to, if you're running low on battery. Although keep in mind, it's going to be hard to unplug it, but probably not an issue for most people. The mouse also goes to sleep after about, I think, 15 minutes of inactivity um, just to conserve battery life, which is a really good idea. And it's really simple to wake the mouse up from sleeping. All you got to do is click it once, give it a second, the LED indicator will come back on and it works fine. Never been a problem in my experience. Other notes about the, mou the mouse, the sensitivity is just perfect in my opinion. It's not too, it's, I mean, it's a great high sensitivity gaming mouse that has performed greatly for me in shooters and MMOs and Minecraft, but it's not too sensitive as I was kind of running into with the 12,000 DPI of my previous mouse, whereas I'm not having issues with tight photo editing or video editing at all. It's a really great sensitivity if you max it out and you, of course, have the customizability to pretty much knock it all the way down as to where you have to throw it across the room to move it if you so desire. While I did love the battery interchanging system of their SteelSeries H wireless headset, this is just so much better. Being able to just set the mouse on the charging base whenever I want, SteelSeries has created probably my favorite wireless mouse that I will ever have because frankly I've always hated wireless mice until, this, until I've gotten this one. And so, just that simple charging feature alone makes this my favorite wireless mouse that I will probably ever find. One minor issue that I may have with it is that the LED indicator for the battery light, or for the battery status, in my opinion, maybe stays on the green a little too long, especially with that streaming event. It just, it feels like it stays green for a very, very, very long time. But then if you actually get it into the yellow and red, it very quickly, like within a couple hours, goes from yellow to red, and then you're dead very soon. And that's a problem with a lot of battery indicators actually, even on like laptops and things like that is it basically says, yeah, you're good. And then suddenly you get to a point where it's like, yeah, you're good. Oh, no, you're not. You're not good at all. You're about to die. Plug me in. And eh, I mean, like I said, it's a pretty common problem, but it can still be frustrating because instead of yellow being like, okay, I, ha I have a good couple hours. I don't need to worry about it yet, but I can't play all day. It's like yellow. Oh, it's about to be red. I need to plug it in. And Again, the battery's gonna last you so long you probably won't run into that, but if you do, keep that in mind. So that is my review of the SteelSeries Sensei Wireless Gaming Mouse. It is my favorite wireless mouse to date. It's durable, it's rugged, it is the most comfortable mouse I've probably ever held, and it has the best battery life of any wireless mouse that I have ever used. It has great sensitivity, it has a lot of convenience factors to it with the battery light indicator being able to plug it in directly, back and forward buttons, ambidextrous comfort. I highly recommend you check it out. It is a bit on the pricey side though. The MSRP is about $160. However, if you find it on a good deal on Amazon or something like that, I would definitely go for it. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Hope it was helpful to any of you looking to the Sensei Wireless. It is a great option if you're looking for a wireless mouse at all. I highly recommend it. If you did enjoy this video, I highly recommend you check out the options for supporting us. We do have a Patreon campaign where a small contribution every month can lead to better content and our lives just being better in general, as well as better equipment upgrades and things like that. We have a donation page set up as well. You can subscribe to this channel, plus one us on Google Plus so that we do better in search results. You can follow our other channels, such as my vlogging channel and the Geek channel and Choose channel and things like that. Or you can just like the video and comment on it, or even dislike it if you disliked it. Otherwise, guys, I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to contribute to our Patreon campaign. If you watch another video, click on one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. See you next time.